Godzilla King of the Monsters features the ruins of a lost ancient city sunken beneath the sea. After Godzilla is wounded, he retreats to the city to absorb radiation and heal, and the characters set out to find and awaken him by detonating a nuclear bomb. The sequence functions as a travelogue as the submarine heads from a dark, rocky underwater landscape through the outer layers of the city and toward the much larger and more grand central areas surrounding Godzilla's volcanic temple. The layout of each shot was unique since the sequence progresses in scale and grandeur from shot to shot, and so we built a library of 20 ruined buildings to pull from. The city predates many ancient cultures and so contains deliberate design influences from multiple sources, Mesopotamian, East Asian and Central American. We built the city to suggest that it was hewn from natural rock, and so we studied examples of real monolithic architecture around the world, from Petra's treasury to the Lycian tombs in Turkey, and rock-cut cave temples in India such as Ellora and Baja. With the buildings in place, we decorated them with monster-headed statues and murals to tell the story of the city's history. And then all of the city assets went through a process of aging and degradation in zebrush, texturing, and finally by scattering debris, coral, and animated caches of seaweed and seagrasses to add subtle motion and light play. Additional detail was added with shipwrecks from different eras strewn around the city, and through the use of a library of effects elements such as hydrothermal vents, lava streams, and marine snow to add scale and complexity. Finally, the city is destroyed as the nuclear bomb detonates, the leading edge of a shockwave fracturing the buildings and landscape. It was extremely rewarding to create an environment that had to convey an unspoken history. Thank <laughs> you.